In this tutorial, I want to show you how you can make it to where Excel will automatically add a border around the new data they enter by using additional formatting, as you can see right here. To show you how to do this, I recopy and paste the data right here. And to make the additional formatting rule that will automatically add the border, first you want to highlight the area that you want to apply the additional formatting to. Make sure the area is not just the data that you have, but also where you're going to add new data. In this example, I'm going to add new data below. I'm going to go ahead and highlight more rows below. Now from here, I'm going to want to go to the Home tab and towards the right in the middle, right in the Styles grouping, you'll see an option for conditional formatting. And you're going to want to create a new role. From here, you're going to want to use a formula to determine which cells to format. And basically, you're going to say, well, if there is something in column A, then I want to apply a border around the data in that row. To do this, you're going to press equals A1, not equal to blank, which is noted by two quotes, as you can see. Conditional formatting formulas are a bit weird because you don't doesn't step you through the arguments like it would a normal formula um, in a cell, so keep it in mind. And you're going to want to lock down just the column by putting a dollar sign in front of the A, as you can see right here. But not the one, because you want the formatting to apply to the rows as you apply it down. From here, you're going to go to format. And you, you from here you can apply any sort of formatting that you want. So you can have the number formatting be whatever formatting that you want. You can have the font be whatever format that you want, which is helpful for your consistency. But in this example, I want to apply a border. And then from here, you can have it be a border in the middle, a border on top, a border on bottom. But in this example, we need to click on outline, and it will apply a border to every single cell. You have to be a dash border if you want it to be a, a border, for example, by clicking on a dash, click on outline. And you can have it be whatever color that you want. So just say you want a green dash outline, for example. You have a green dash outline or a black dash outline, for example. One thing to know is that you cannot apply the diagonal options like you normally could um, in the normal border editing. So now I'm going to click OK. And then click OK. As you can see, all the data they have right here has this dash black outline. But if when I add new data, so let's just say the next date, the formatting will automatically apply below. That said, I hope you found this to be helpful. If you did, like, subscribe, comment. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. And one thing to note is that let's just say you wanted to expand this logic. Let's just say you wanted to have this same formatting, but in column C, for example, where you have a name. To do this, you can just highlight the formatting that you have, get conditional formatting, which is this icon right here, or, or format painter right there, and then place it where you want the formatting to also apply. And as you can see, the new formatting rule will also apply to the new column using format painter. That's it. I hope you found this to be helpful. If you did, like, subscribe, comment. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.